Well, this is a note on choosing the course to steer uh, to make good a specific heading um, in the presence of known current. And this is an example. We've worked in three or four other videos. And uh, now I do the same thing in QTVLM and show some of the special features that it offers. And so we'll first solve this uh, in a graphic method and then show that actually with this program you don't have to do that sort of thing. But we first show that you can do it. So we so, uh, and so the current we're dealing with, we want to, we'll pick some place we, we want to be, like here, right here. And then we want to go direction 080, 080. And the current is 1.99 knots in direction 350. We've solved this problem five times, different methods, different programs. Um, uh, okay, and so well, let's start here. We'll do it with a pathway. Let's just, first of all, let's just say I'll just take this pathway bearing line one. That's good enough. And I'm just going to say here's where I'm starting, and here's where I want to go, and that's ended. And let me end that. And now let me mark that out and make that 80 degrees. Oh, that's backwards. Uh, let me go in here, uh, edit the pathway. I don't know why. That one's reversed. OK. Now we're going the right direction. Uh, now what do we got here? Seven, oh, that's pretty close. Pretty good eye. Uh, and there's 80 degrees. So we're starting here, and we want to go here. So that's a line. Now, the next step is we have to correct for the current. So we just do another pathway. I think we call that one number one. Let's call number two. And let's go the right direction. And that's all here. And we do that. And for the time being, I'm just going to drop this right next to this one, and then bring it up here somewhere, and then end that. That's going to be the current vector. But with this program, I can't reuse, at least in this version of it, I can't reuse the same waypoint, but I want this one to be the same waypoint. So I'm just going to grab this guy and put him right on top of that one. So that's there. Now this one I want to be, I want to, now here's a philosophy. I'm sitting where I'm starting, right here, and now I want to let myself drift for one hour in the current. And that'd be 1.9 miles in direction 350. So let's find that at 350. Uh, 350 is over here. And then we're going to want to be up a little bit. Uh, 1.9. Uh, there's 1.9. That's almost right. Am I going to do any better than that? I'm probably not. No, I'm not got greedy. Okay, I'll call that right. Okay, so that's, um, that is where we would drift in, in, one, in one hour sitting there. Now, there's several ways we can do this at this point. We could just take, we're, we're, now we're going to be going seven miles, and our speed is seven knots. Our speed through the water is seven knots. And so now we want to just go from here. And you could do this different ways. I could right click and edit this, and then just add a ring, one ring, and make it seven miles. OK, like that. OK. So here, if I now, OK, here's where we want to go. That's seven miles. I can go any, in, in one hour, I can go any of these directions. But where I want to go in one hour is I want to be back on the line I'm trying to make good, this one. So I want to go out of here. So what I could do here is just go here and then append. Is there a way? Yeah, append. And just add another waypoint here and end that. Done with that. Now just bring that guy over to right here. Yeah, to right there. OK, so that's the answer. So there's the course to steer. The course to steer is, uh, it says here, 096, 096 degrees. So what you would be doing is you would be, you would be pointing, your boat would point in this direction. So let's just imagine what happens. In one hour, I come down here. And in one hour, the current brings me back to here or any place along here. So basically, I'm going to be, my boat's going to be pointed this direction, but I'm going to be crabbing along this line here. And then if I want to know how fast I'm actually going to make good, my speed made good as I crab along here, because I'm not, I'm not going to have my full seven knots because I'm fighting the current a little bit, I could just go up here and say, um, let me say right click um, uh, ruler tool. Is that right? OK, ruler tool. That's pretty good there. And then come up to here. And the speed, um, 
it looks like the speed I would be making is about uh, 6.7 knots. So the answer we get is uh, 096 at 6.7. 096 at 6.7. Okay, so that's the answer there. All right, now let's go back and look at this. So that's, solve, that's solving the old-fashioned graphics of vector problem using this. But let's just get rid of all this. I'm going to push the, uh, the shift button. I'm going to draw a circle. This is a big erase tool here. Right click and delete the marks and say OK. So now, so let's do this. Let's just say here's where the boat is. And right now, I want to go in direction 080. This is now my real boat. Say I'm not doing a practice problem. Oh wait, I want to go in 080. So one way to do that is let's took the ruler tool from the, from the boat. OK, let's go out here. And now I just want to go to get mark the direction 080. Normally, that would be to a buoy or to a headland or something. But for now, it's just an exercise. And we want the heading to be 080, which is bah, right up, right, right, something like right there, 080. So I'm going to right click that and drop a mark and call that is a, that is a 2080. OK, good. Okay, that's good. So, oh, and then I'm done with that, so I hit the escape key. So that's where I want to go from here to here. And now, what I could do, let me just set up a route now. Okay, so I know where I'm here. Here's where my boat is, and here's where I want to go. And I know there's a current of 1.9 knots in direction 350. So what I do is I, first of all, go into program and tell the program what the current is. And you do it that way. You go up here to this uh, uh, the grib configuration and go to corrections and then the current corrections and the current is 1.9 knots in direction 350. Okay, so what that's going to do is across this whole field here that's going to make 1.9 knots go in that direction. So then what do I do? Now let me set up a route and go here. So then I could go up here route and say create a route and then um, and we don't need any of these. We're going to do ortho. OK, so that's the route we want. We're just going to set up a route, and we're going to go to that waypoint. Let's start from the boat, and let's start from the grib, you know, from the grib time. That's OK. Let's go here. And now I just go up here and I put a mark. Oh, I forgot always what I forget. Route, edit a route. Route is that the one I just did? Uh, I got always uh, I got to mark always got to mark this. Say I want to add the waypoints. Okay, so I'll go up here and mark the waypoint. Okay, that's perfect. Now I end it. Okay, I just want to get it on the chart. Now, now what I'm going to do is grab this waypoint here and pull it through here. So now I know it's going to 080. So that's it. So that's my route. Now all I do once I have my route set up. And I've told the program what the current is. I just put my cursor on here. And what's it tell me now? Um, first of all, I'm under the engine. I'm going seven knots. Oh, where did I tell it seven knots? I got to be careful. Boat, boat settings, uh, engine and tax, uh, seven knots. So it says go seven knots if you're on the engine. And then I, I shut off all the sailing aspects by saying use the engine whenever the sailing speed's less than 50 knots. And that's going to be safe. I'm always under engine. OK, so that's good. So now there's my route. And it's going to tell me something here. What? Let's see what it tells me. Uh, the COG is going to be 080.2, a little bit off. And uh, my, my uh, speed through the water, STW 7.0 knots, that I know. And then look at that, my SOG, my COG is what I want, 080, that's what I'm going to make good. And then it tells me already what my SOG is, 6.7. Now, one could argue that this really should be labeled SMG and CMG, you know, not SOG and COG, but that doesn't matter. We know what it means. That's what we're going to make good, 6.7. And that's what we solved from the vector problem. Now, where do we find which way to steer? Oh, and here it is. They say to steer 095.9, 095.9. And when we did our vector solution kind of fast, we got 096. But you see, the main point here is everything is done for us automatically in the program. 
and I'm going to I'm going to stop this video here and then but then come back right away and make another video that shows how we could simulate this and find it out find it out um, as if we didn't really know what that current was. In other words, we, it's in the background and we know what the answer is supposed to be. But let me come back to that. Here you see how to solve it with a vector and then you also see how the program uh, will calculate that for you automatically.